Hello, today I'm going to give you an introduction to knitting lace on your Dean and Bean sock machine. And I'm going to be using the simple sock pattern. I suggest you not attempt lace work until you are very comfortable knitting on your Dean and Bean sock machine and have made many pairs of socks. So I will not go through the details of how to make the sock. I'm really just going to focus on the lace work. So I have just finished hanging my cuff. I'm going to reset my row counter and crank two rows, stopping with the main mark near the cable post. Okay. This is where I like to do all of my lace moves, this open space right here between the yarn feeder and the side of the crank handle. In fact, that's part of why we designed the machine this way is to have this open space where it's really uh, easy to manipulate the stitches, either with lace work or cabling, something like that. So if we look at the pattern, it is the same pattern repeated in two different places along the cylinder. So we're always going to be working around a target needle. And for the first round, this part A, we, we start the pattern at the top and go down. And for part A, we are going to be working around the first needle after the main mark, the halfway mark, and the four target marks. So let me show you where that is on the cylinder. Okay, so for the A part of the pattern, I'm going to use the first needle after the main mark as one of my target lace needles, and then the first needle after the halfway mark and then on my machine, it's the four pink marks that are used you know, for, the, for the toe, for example, and they're also marked on the other side of the cylinder. So that is six target needles, and those six target needles will be used for part A. Then there's going to be a second group of target needles that we use for part B. And the instructions tell you that ideally you want those to be halfway in between the marks for part A. So I'm working today on a 60 needle cylinder. If this is needle one, just past the main mark, needle six is going to be my target lace needle for the B pattern. That's because there are 10 needles in between each of the six marks that I told you would be our, our target needles for part A. So if this is needle one, this is my, my first needle after the main mark for part A, I'm going to go five needles, one, two, three, four, five, and it's this needle. For these needles, I have actually marked them on the top, I don't know if you can see that, with a little bit of red fingernail polish. So I have those six needles around the cylinder marked with polish. I am just going to remember that it is the first needle after the main mark, the halfway mark on my four pink marks for part A. But if you would like, you might want to mark those in a different color nail polish to make them easier to spot. I think this will all start to make a lot more sense as we try one. So let's just dive in. This is our first pattern maneuver. This column of stitches, that is our first target needle for part A. Okay. So we're going to go one to the left and move the stitch onto our target needle and one to the right and move our stitch onto the target needle. So let's do that now. Here is the target needle. So I'm going to go one needle to the left and bring that stitch over and put it on my target needle. And then I'm going to go one needle to the right, lift that stitch off and put it on the target needle. Okay. Now I have to do that for each of the six times around this cylinder. So I'm just going to crank a little ways until my next target needle, the first one past one of my target marks, this is my target lace needle, is in the area where it's easy to work right by my cable mark, my cable post. So now, same thing, one needle to the left, I pick up the stitch and I put it on my target lace needle. 
one needle to the right, pick up the stitch, and move it to my target lace needle. Here's my last one for this row because here's my main mark. I know I'm back around. Just as we've been doing. Okay, so now I have finished that first row. So now we have just completed this move, the first row, all the way around the cylinder. This second row, you'll see there are no lace moves on the second row, it's just a knit row. So now we'll crank one full row and return the main mark to our area where we're working our lace pattern. For the second row of lace, this is our third row of our pattern, but the second row of lace moves, this is our target lace needle. So this time we, this time we count two to the left and move one toward the center. Here's our lace target, so we count two to the right and move one to the center. This is my target needle, and I count one, two to the left. Move that stitch in one. Target needle, one, two to the right. Move that needle in. So now I just keep doing that all the way around. Whoops. Target needle, one, two. See that once again, after the lace row, we'll do one row of just knitting. Crank one time around until the main mark comes back to our lace work area. Then here is our third and final row of lace work for part A of our pattern. So here's our target needle, and this time we this time we count one, two, three, and move in. Same thing on the other side, one, two, three, and move in. This is our target, one past the mark, one, two, three. The other side, here's our target, one, two, three. And we repeat that all the way around. So now if we check our pattern again, this time after we've finished the three lace rows and the knit rows in between for part A, we're going to knit four rows. So here's the main mark, back to our cable. That's one. Two, three, four. Visit us at deanandbean.com and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.